this particular experiment is used to determine the ionizing potential uh, an ionization potential of xenon gas uh, this uh, is a very simple uh, experiment which gives you very profound uh, results uh, so what you have is basically something called as the pentode which is shown here it basically has got uh, a cathode which is marked as k and then it has got a plate p which is basically this particular part and then there are two grids which is going to be called as grid 1 which is shown by this dotted line and grid 2 which is again shown by this dotted line so the xenon gas is actually filled inside this particular pentode uh, which i'll show it to you later uh, in the instrument setup now what is going to happen is basically uh, initially we will be keeping uh, notice one thing uh, g2 and p the plate are connected together and they will be kept at one particular value of potential and then uh, so there is a potential difference between this plate and this cathode which will be kept a constant which we call it as the plate voltage okay. now there is a filament the filament when it gets heated up uh, it will eject electrons from the cathode this cathode the electrons which were ejected from the cathode uh, if it has got sufficient energy how do we, how do they gain energy if you notice the cathode up is kept at a negative voltage out here and this grid g1 is basically kept at a positive value so there is a positive potential here, there is a negative potential here. So when the electrons are ejected from the cathode, the electrons will try to go to this grid uh, with an acceleration. So while this acceleration is going on, uh, these electrons will collide with the xenon gas which is filled here. And if these electrons have sufficient energy to knock out more electrons from the xenon, which is we call it as the uh, ionization because usually the electrons which are in the outermost orbit are weakly bound to the atom uh, these electrons will be ejected out and as a result what is going to happen is more electrons are going to be produced on the way to the plate as a result the heat current will keep on increasing so this will happen only when the potential between these two attains a particular value uh, that particular value is basically going to be called as uh, ionization potential. Uh, now, if you look at this graph, what we have done is basically we have plotted uh, the plate current which is measured here. You can see that part. The plate current which is measured using this apparatus is taken along the y axis. You can see that here. And uh, the grid voltage that is Vg which is basically between G1 and cathode that is taken along the x axis. So you will notice that up to certain value of the uh, Vg there is no plate current which is generated. There is no plate current which is generated. It is just remaining there. Obviously. After this particular value of the potential is reached then you will see that the current keeps on increasing the plate current keeps on increasing as the, the plate current keeps on increasing as the voltage keeps on increasing okay now we have made these connections the connections are already built in into your circuit you will be not making much change but when you look at the connections you will see that uh, you don't have to make this part of the connection what I am covering with my finger okay, that is this part of the finger I mean a uh, figure you don't have to make connections same way you don't have to make this part of the connection only the remaining part only you have to make the connections so now I will show you how to make the connections using the apparatus. <coughs> 